Hello, and let's talk about a deck I had no idea existed until, um, let's see, when? When did I know it, when did I realize it existed? Probably a month ago. This is the Epinal Tarot. This is by Grimaud. Um, it is out of print, and it says on the box, it has some English. The Epinal Tarot was first edited in 1830 by the art printers called Pellerin, who were well known in France since 1796. The famous card reader Paulette Vibert explains the symbolic meanings of the 78 cards. The reprinting of this game is due to the master card manufacturer Jean-Marie Simon, a sole producer of Grimaud playing cards. So, um, you're probably wondering, where did I get it? And how much did I pay? Well, it's, um, there's a box. It says a reference, uh, the G112, made in France. Um, here's some more about the Epinal. Um, made the same thing. So, uh, I was on eBay, and, um, once I found out this deck existed, I'm like, this is just a cheap looking Marseille deck um, with cruddy pictures. Well, I was like, well, I don't have one in my collection, so I want one. I paid $35 for it. I just think it's a really good price. Since all the cards are complete, there's nothing wrong with them. The box is a little beat up and crushed, but it's fine. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. There's the reverse kind of gaudy. Um, I believe this deck, what's the date? So this had the little booklet, it's a little stained. Not sure what that is. It's in French and English. Um, not sure of the year, but let's, let's read about it. Uh, Epinal Tarot. The Tarot of Epinal is once again in circulation, the long-awaited re-edition of these famous tarot cards first printed in 1830 by the art printers called Pellerin, who were already well-known since 1796 in the Vosges, uh, V-O-S-G-E-S, -E district of France, Vosges, which I, I, rem I believe, no, that's Moray. I don't know what Vosges means. I was thinking about uh, Moray, which means swamp. The woodcuts of the present edition are the same as those used by Georgien, the famous engraver during the Napoleonic period. But the game was already in existence centuries before. The symbolic explanation of the 78 cards in this game is given by the famous card reader Paulette Weber, who started her exceptional career at the age of 15 in inheriting her gifts from a long family line of clairvoyance. The new edition of the Epinal Tarot is due to the efforts of Jean-Louis Simon, the master card manufacturer, sole producer of Grimaud cards. So the, de the book is written by um, Paulette Viber. Paulette Viber. Um, it says, the library at Alexandria was founded 330 uh, years before Jesus Christ. The Book of Thoth and Pharaoh, T-H-A-R-O-T, -T, that's the first time I've ever seen that, rescued from a fire, then taken, uh, was then taken to this library. Book tells the origins of the tarot game, instructions, and then there's the more. So I'm not going to read the whole thing. We have a consultant card, a consultant card. So just like a placeholder, got a consultant. Let's look at the cards. Okay, so it says France Pellerin on some of them. Now look at these colors; they're really garish, and the the um, Artwork is, I think, a little crude um, for the time period, but uh, nevertheless, here it is. So this says the fool or the madman. So some of these names are a little different, a little skewed. Uh, the English is so the shell game, the conjurer, Eskimotu, and here we have a. A Juno card, you know, don't offend the uh, Catholic Church. And there's the uh, peacocks. 
the Emperor. Really, I mean, decent. And the colors are those blues, and those blues are just too much. I mean, they're all over the back of the card, too. And Patrice, she has a full table there. Full table. Jupiter. The lightning bolts, the eagle. The crown. Not a wreath, but a crown. The lovers. Look at the wings of this. They're like butterfly wings. I thought that was kind of silly. Comical. Butterfly wings. The chariot. The man with the hand on the hip. He is a sassy one. The two horses are different colors, but they're facing the same direction. The justice. Here we have, uh, it says Lois. I'm sure that means something. I don't know what it means. There's a, a hand mirror and a serpent and a book. A capuchin. A capuchin monk. Le monk. Le capuchin. Wheel of Fortune. Route of Fortune. Pretty typical. The fall of man. The monkey's king. The rabbit. La Force. Strength. Look at the foot's not colored. So the coloring is really, it looks like a dog or a bear. This is the lion. But the hat, you know, with strength, you have the, um, the top of the hat, not so much a crown, but mimicking the teeth. Pendu, here we have a, a flower there, and he's almost touching the ground. La Pendu. Uh, death, la mort, la mort. Um, of course, there's no, no title in the card. We have two severed heads, the king, and it looks like a man, maybe a nobleman. Severed hand, foot, and random bone. He's kind of smiling like he 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 he. Temperance. Temperance. Le diable. I, now this is, I thought this was, this was fairly interesting. Look at the hands here. They're like pleading almost. We have the um, deer-like legs, the human top with, with the horns and the pointy ears. And the face is not, this looks like a, a man. Torch of knowledge, horns. Les maisons de Dieu. Looks like he's stopping to pick up something on the way down. Um, zig, 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 boom, Etoile. uh, this looks like a man, um, I don't know what those cuts are on the chest, it looks like, um, when you open up a person, you do the inverted Y incision, Looks like a fish at first, but then you realize it is a crab. There's that plant that was down by the hangman. Smiling moon. Fecal matter brown clouds. We have the wolf, which is like levitating, and then the spotted dog. Soleil. Twins, Gemini, the wall, Rome, Romulus, Remus, all that good stuff. Looks like they're in a stew of pea, of split pea soup. Split pea soup. Toot toot, the horn. And Le Monde. Here we have a blue person. It reminds me of like a blue fairy. And they put a lamb here. Maybe like, I think maybe to appease religious, uh, the religious sect. Lamb of God. They got the ox, the lamb. Uh, the angel, eagle, it's supposed to be, what is that? Where's the lion at? It doesn't look like a lion to me, but we have the lamb. So that's a little strange too. 
So when I got this deck, of course, all, all of the suits were all, all over the place. I had to put it in order, but look how clean the cards are. They're very clean, hardly used at all. So again, price I paid pretty good, pretty good. These will do well in my collection. Grapes are like hanging on there like a little hook. So we have wands, and these are pips, of course, but the colors are interesting. Very much a product of when they were made. The colors to appeal to, I don't know, 60s, 70s, eight, early 80s. I, I believe this is an early 80s deck. I don't think it's any older than that. I mean, but the box is a thicker cardboard. It is fairly thick. It is somewhat yellowed. Um, yeah, I'm not certain of the age. I wish they date stuff. It makes things so much easier. Especially as a, libra a librarian, you can, you know, know when it was manufactured. Yeah, pip, pip, pips. These are more flourishy, flourish style ends. Color use is good. Canthus leaves. Eight. Nine. Ten. Can you reverse these? Yes, you can. Um, they really, the back is, I mean, it is really reversible. So I don't know if that's how I set up. Upside down, I don't know. So we have valet or jack of sticks. They call him a jack, not a valet. Well, valet or a page, they call him the jack. Then we have the knight. Queen. Typical queen. And king. He's a fancy one. He's got the point there. He's sitting legs akimbo. Okay, now we have cups. Group. The two of cups is Fabrique de Pellerin à Epinal of Vosges. Vosges. Flowers. Here we get a mirror or a mirror or a frame, but I believe it's supposed to be a mirror. Fancy. Some of this work I've never, you know, it's original. I have not seen that before. This one, look at that little tendrils. Canvas. We have a cup over there, 10, very typical. Then, oops, Jack, there we go. I knew you were hiding. He's covering that, very typical. But he's wearing a laurel wreath. Laurel wreath, there's that plant again. Knight, covered cup, queen. I always call this like the pregnancy cup, I mean the pregnancy card. And the king. Or de coupe. De coupe. Now we have, uh, what do they call them? Denier. Denier. Typical. Ace. Here's the one that only has text on it. It does not. So you see the full belted uh, dual. It's very reversible. Except it's got a printing little blemish there. That's the printing. Three. Oh, we have a little kid, little child there. Four. Mukti. Canthus leaves. We have hearts. Hearts there. Here we get a ribbon and some zigzag bric-a-brac. 
So there's some really original stuff in here. Yeah. That's pretty cool with them hugging, hugging colors, which still makes it quite reversible. And 10. There's the valet, and he's got a little bit of landscape behind him. The valet. The knight. Coins. Queen. It's got smiling, I guess those are monkeys or lions. You don't really see monkeys in tarot at all. No monkeys. Too exotic. King of coins. And the final suit is a pea or swords, roses and acorns. So roses and oak coming from this side as opposed to the um, batons coming from this side. And of course these are curved, but these have really nice hilts on them. So you know you're dealing with um, swords and not wands. There's a beautiful rose in the middle. It's like a cabbage rose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blue and the alternating is pretty typical for Marseille. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten, you get another rose. Not the best card to get, but you get a rose. The Jack of Swords, here we go. Jack. Notice the, um, <laughs> the end of it looks like a club. Um, this one's the Knight. The Queen. King, he's got the, the shoulder Faces on the shoulder. That's a fancy king. He's got his legs crossed with the flourish underneath. There we go. That is the deck. The Epina Tarot. So this is 79 cards. It says 78, but you get a consultant card. You get the booklet and you get the sort of the title, I don't know, explanation card. But it says 78 cards, but you get 79 because you have the Clearant consultant card that is the placeholder. The um, the other deck that sticks out with that uh, the Querent card is the um, Dame Fortune's Tarot by Paul Husson, which I adore. I love that deck. You know that's one, that's one of my favorite decks. Epinal reminds me a little bit of the um, uh, Yudis Picard Tarot, except for the sweet the suit switch, sweet switch, suit switch. Um, but as far as the artwork, um, kind of crude, but I, the pips are actually uh, surprising. The majors are rather okay. I like my Marseille to have um, the traditional imagery, not replace Juno and Jupiter um, and Bacchus, of course. Um, there's no Bacchus in this, but there we go. The Epinal Tarot. A lovely find. If you like it, you, they're still out there. I mean, it's. I just can't. I can't believe I haven't run into it before. And eclectic.net does talk about it a little bit, but really briefly. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching.